Brandon, even though it finishes short of the ultimate goal, what's your level of pride in what this group accomplished this season? Yeah, I mean, when you when you look back at the season that we've had and, and what we've done um, from the beginning till now, um, you know, I think there's a lot to be proud of. Um, it's hard to to think about it now um, because you're you know two wins away from extending your season and and uh, you know getting to the World Series and you just you never know with this stuff so you don't want to you don't want to think well oh well there's always next year um, because I I think you should try and take advantage of the opportunity that you have in front of you and you don't know when the next one's going to come so it's hard it's hard to reflect right now but um, I know in the coming weeks you know the guys should be very very proud of of the season that that we had and Again, I don't. I don't think anybody would have thought we would have ended up in the NLCS and and you know pushing it to Game Six even. So there's a lot of people that thought that the the series was over as soon as the Dodgers won the first game. So um, you know, I'm definitely proud proud of these guys and proud of this team. But um, it's it's hard it's hard to reflect on right now. As somebody here for the long haul, Brandon, what do you think this means for the organization going forward? I mean, it, it, it sets a, a, another standard. Um, you know, we, we tried in, in 22 to set the standard that, you know, we were going to try and be in the playoffs every year and, you know, tried to make decisions in, in the off season that we felt like would put us there again. And, you know, it didn't end up happening in 23. Um, and then this off season, um, you know, I think David did a great job of putting putting t- things together and putting good people in this clubhouse, and then making additions at the at the trade deadline that allowed us to get to this spot. And um, you know, I, I really think that this is kind of the, the jumping off point. We want to set this as a standard now, but like I said, I mean, it's hard to get here. So. Um, you know, we, we definitely want to try and, and be here and, and get back and, and finish the job. Um, but, you know, there's there's no surprising people, you know. Um, I think people are going to be a little more weary of us next year to start things off. And, and um, you know, that's that comes with its own territory where um, everybody's going to have their A, a game on to try and beat you. You know, you mentioned the work that David did. You've been through as a player a lot of tumult a lot of managers and front office executives with the people that you have in place now after a year with them what is your level of confidence in their ability to lead this organization moving forward right we have everybody that we need in order to to make this work and to to finish the job Um, we have the right people in place and it's going to be good to have some stability Um, I know we we have a lot of free agents and we're going to have players coming in and out Um, but to have some stability in the front office and to have some stability from the top down it's going to be it's going to be very helpful because now going into spring training it's not a you know get to know you and this and that we we know the core we know we know the front office we know who's in charge we know what kind of standards we're setting now and that's going to be good to have that you know, out of the way come spring training so that you can start to introduce the new people into that as well. Brandon, you played with Alonzo for a long time, of course. How much has he meant to this organization, and how much do you maybe hope that his free agency ends up the same way that yours has mm-hmm. yours ended up? One hundred percent. You know, Pete has has done so much for this organization um, right from the get go, and um, you know, he means a lot to to the fan base and to this team. Um, and, you know, would love to see him back here. But also going through that process, I understand that it is a business and, um, you know, he will end up doing what's best for him and his family. Um, he's earned the right to get to this point. There's no question about that. Um, but I think this October has, t- has definitely topped it off. He had unbelievable at bats, came through in clutch situations, and, um, you know, just was vintage polar, polar bear Pete. So, um, you know, 
I think <laughs> Mets fans will remember that fondly regardless, but um, we'll see what happens this offseason. Given that you have gone through that process, how important do you think it is for him to go through it as well? Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's very important. Like I said, he, he's earned that right, and, uh, you know, he's going to go through it, and he's going to exercise all of his options and, um, and look at everyone, and um, it's very, very hard to get to this point that he has, and um, and so when you earn that right, you, you should go through it, and uh, you know I'm wanting him to do what's best for him and his family as well. Brandon, you've obviously been here a long time. Does losing this year feel like a window closing just because you have so many free agents? This was such a special team, or does it feel like the window's still open because of where the organization is? Well, I, I I think obviously you know the window's closed on this on this year, right? Um, Kind of what I alluded to in the beginning is this year, this year is special in its own way, and and you're, you're you're not going to take that into next year, and so you have to do the very best you can with what you have right now and the opportunity you have in front of you. So, I mean, on, on this team, the window has closed, you know, and that's and that's a that's a frustrating thing. It's a it's a sad thing. It's you know, it's very hard to swallow um, because I I love this team so much. But you know, as far as for this organization, I think it's a good step forward. Um, you know, it sets a new standard and you know one that I think the Coens right from the very top want to continue to build on um, until we finally get to that World Series and start making that you know a standard. So. Um, I, I think it's a little bit of both, um, but it's a uh, it's a tough pill to swallow right now. As a member of that core that you kind of mentioned, how do you kind of what kind of lessons do you take from this year that you can tr- try and kind of lead the way into the future? For you guys? Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, one big lesson is you know you you can't you can't count any team out you know in the beginning you you've got to you've got to play the whole 162 and you you've got to play it like you know like every game matters because too many times we've seen you know games come down to to the very last day um, and, and playoff positions come down to the very last day so I think you know every game is important and you try and, and capitalize on those um, as much as possible and just the more that you go through this, you realize how, how important every day is. And so, you know, I think I think that's one one lesson. But, you know, I, I think this playoff experience is good. I think I think the more that you get in it, the the better equipped you are to handle it. Um, so I think that's a very important step for for a lot of these guys is you know to to learn what the playoff atmosphere is like and what went well for you and, and what didn't um, and, and what you can take into the next time. What did you tell them over us when you looked like cocktails? Yeah. Um, you know, we're just, we're both sad that this this season has ended um, and that this, this chapter has closed. And like I said, we, we love this team so much. So, you know, we just consoling, uh, consoling him. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. You put your heart and soul out there, you know, every night, and when it doesn't work out, when your your best isn't isn't good enough, um, it's a tough pill to swallow, you know. So, but just telling him, you know, that he's he's an amazing player, um, and he has so much to look forward to, and I can't wait, you know, to continue to be his teammate. Um, but um, you know, also just agreeing on and consoling each other on the fact that this this chapter is closed, you know.